Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. This is the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza and joined today by George Runner with the Board of Equalization. George, always good to have you here. Thank you, Jaime. It's good to be here. We're talking about something that many of you at home have probably heard about already on the news. You've probably read in the papers. And it deals with Amazon. And a lot of us use Amazon.com to buy a lot of products. Yet there's a push on right now uh, in order to force Amazon to create a sales tax. And, mm -hmm. I, and I know a lot of consumers like Amazon because they don't have to pay right. the sales tax. Where does this sit right now in terms of, of your position in, in, in your office? Well, and of course, it's not just Amazon. Uh, basically, the law does not require an a, uh, internet uh, retailer who's located out of the state of California to collect a sales tax. And so people are familiar mo a lot with Amazon, but also mm -hmm. things like L.L. Bean, Overstock.com, and literally, mm -hmm. literally, literally hundreds if not thousands of other retailers who under current law, uh, through f at least interpretation of current law, uh, because they don't have what's called a brick and mortar presence, they're not required to actually then collect a sales tax from people who purchase. Mm -hmm. And so oftentimes people then um, purchase that way. They don't have to pay a sales tax at least under, at least they don't pay a sales tax to Amazon who has to remit it under California state law. When you do that, you are under the obligation to pay what's called a use tax yourself. But this is all about whether or not you can get these out-of-state retailers to actually collect the tax for the mm -hmm. state. And it's a pretty hot issue. If they're, if they're not familiar with reading about it, they probably have been hit up at the stores right now with somebody to sign a petition. Mm -hmm. Because that's exactly what Amazon now has taken the lead on, and that is to try to overturn a, a bill that was passed just this last year in California. We're looking at two things. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, and on one side, there are a lot of people who say, you know what, Amazon needs to collect the sales tax because that's money being robbed from the state of California to help programs when we're mm -hmm. dire need. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the other side that says, wait a minute, I'm the consumer. Uh, why do I need to pay sales tax? And, and then Amazon threatening to just cut ties with California. Well, that's exactly what they did. They, th th what happened is, what we did is we, uh, the, the law that was passed tried to create what's called nexus, a brick and mortar presence, even though it's not brick and mortar through right. what's called affiliates. And what Amazon did is they cut their relationship with California affiliates, which for a state that has a over 12% unemployment rate, uh, there are 25,000 affiliates. And so that just doesn't speak well for the employment issues within the state of California. Uh, you know, and, and the other issue I think we have to remind ourselves about, and that is if Amazon's going to have to pay it when they sell things into California, how about all those small internet sellers that are, are reside in California? Do we think it's going to be fair for every state to all of a sudden tell these California retailers that they're responsible for registering for all, with all these different tax agencies across this country? Mm -hmm. You know, that's why, quite frankly, the Supreme Court has always landed on the side of, uh, of uh, not getting in the way of interstate commerce. Mm -hmm. From your position, because you kind of oversee the money that flows through our state, your position on this? Well, I'm, I'm supportive of the fact that uh, Amazon should not be collecting the tax, simply because I believe that I think it's unconstitutional. Uh, I also don't think it's then, like I said, fair for, for if it was to turn around and all of a sudden California retailers, uh, small retailers who have an internet presence would have to be forced to collect sales tax for you know, whoever, Texas, Florida, Nevada. I just don't think that's an important issue that we should be dealing with. And I certainly think it undermines the, uh, the economic uh, conditions that we already struggle with. And again, just to make it very clear, there are those on the other side oh. who say, we could really use these hundreds of millions of dollars, if not more, to help our economy. But if, if, if an agency like Amazon or a business like Amazon moves away, then you've got nothing. Well, ultimately, they, they will always be there. They're always going to sell in the state of California. It's the fact that they're just going to, they're not going to have what's called these retail, excuse me, these affiliates mm -hmm. that are that are small California entrepreneurs, and that's unfortunate. And we'll keep a very close eye on this. George Runner, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Amy. And thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's local edition, The Sacramento Report. And always remember, you can catch this interview as well as others by simply going to My Government On Demand, and you're going to find that on Channel One.